The Meccan period. The disbelievers' harm of the Prophet ﷺ and his companions. When the polytheists saw the truthfulness of the Prophet ﷺ's da'wah and the people gathering around him, they harmed the believers in the worst of ways. Examples of their transgressions include rumors that the Prophet ﷺ was a magician to make people flee from him and fear him, rumors that he was mentally unstable for the people to deem him foolish, rumors that he was a liar, yet this was void as he was known to them as being most truthful and trustworthy before Islam. Mockery of the Prophet ﷺ and the message he came with. Provoking agitation and making a lot of noise whenever he called them to Islam so that the people would turn away from listening to the revelation and what he came with of the truth. Warning those who came from outside of Mecca for pilgrimage against the Prophet ﷺ. They physically caused harm to the Prophet ﷺ. For example, Uqba ibn Abi Mu'ayt, when he dragged the Prophet ﷺ by his garment, almost choking him until Abu Bakr and pushed him away from the Prophet ﷺ. Or when he threw the intestines of a camel over the Prophet ﷺ, then his daughter Fatima had removed it from him. Their attempts to kill the Prophet ﷺ. They offered his uncle Abu Talib to exchange him for Amara ibn al-Walid so that they could kill him wasallam. They also attempted to kill him when he wanted to make hijrah. Punishing and torturing those who they deem weak from the believers, like putting the large rock on Bilal's stomach, or as they did with the family of Ammar ibn Yasir and other than them.